It's fair to say that the Golden State Warriors have had quite the fall from grace these past two seasons. In 2019, they lost the Toronto Raptors in the NBA Finals after some unfortunate injuries to Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant and of course DeMarcus Cousins. And then fast forward to the end of the 2019-2020 season, they were the worst team in the league with 15 wins and 50 losses. But what was even more strange was not seeing the Warriors in the finals as for the past 5 seasons they were in the finals every single year. But with Steph Curry now back healthy, what can they do this season? How are you all doing guys? I hope you're having a really really great day and this is my prediction video for the Golden State Warriors. And this is my 6th video of this kind of series that I'm doing of just NBA predictions and I hope you're really enjoying it. But of course if you have any video suggestions just leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to have a look. And then without further ado, let's just get right into it. First of all, I think we should have a general overlook of the Warriors roster this season. Their starting five has mainly been Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre, James Wiseman and then Eric Paschal. Other than that, they don't really have any other players who will have a big impact on the team this season. Now the Warriors haven't had the best start to the season as they are currently 2-3 and three, or 3-3 three and three as I'm now recording this. But their losses have come against some tough teams. Their first two losses were against the Brooklyn Nets and the Milwaukee Bucks, which are two of the best teams in the league. And then their third loss was against the Blazers, who are still a top team in the West. What isn't a good sign though is that the Warriors lost to the Blazers by 25, the Nets by 26, and then the Bucks by 39. All of these being blowout losses when they play the big teams, which does not give me a lot of hope for their playoff chances. But now as I always do, let's talk about each player, and let's start with Steph Curry. Steph Curry is obviously one of the greatest point guards of all time and the only unanimous MVP ever, but this season has the potential to really hurt his legacy. The main criticism against Steph is that he can't lead a team by himself, like LeBron did, and so far he has not led the Warriors to success. But Steph has been out for almost a year with his own injuries and he's only just getting started again. His free point percentage is currently at 32% so far this season, but I'm sure he'll get that up to at least 40% by the end of the year. What will hurt Steph the most though is that teams will find it much easier to guard him. Before, teams would have to plan how to guard against Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant and Steph Curry, but with now Steph being the only big threat, it's easier to double team him and to build your defence around Steph Curry. This is something that Steph will just have to adapt to and I'm sure as the season goes on he will get better and better. Steph will certainly be an all-star again this year but will probably never be as great as he was ever again. I really do hate to say that but I think his 2015-2016 season is going to be his best year ever. Anyway, Steph hasn't even really underperformed so far this year with 26 points a game and almost 7 assists. It's been Kelly Oubre who's underperformed the most and has had one of the worst stats to a season ever. Over his first 5 games, he's only shot 27% from the field, 4% from free, yes just 4%, and then 60% from the free throw line. Other than dunks, he's virtually missed every single shot and averaging a career high in turnovers which is not great either. That being said, I do think he'll turn it around sooner or later and get back to his usual level. And he is still young at 25 so he has a long career still ahead of him, but for this season Warriors fans will just have to hope that he gets back to his old level of last season. Then we have Andrew Wiggins, who really since his rookie season has been a disappointing player. He's always been an above average player and he's averaged almost 20 points a night for his career, but he's never quite made the jump to be a star player that people have expected. And I think this season will just be the exact same story. He'll be a good player, maybe 20 points a night with good efficiency, but he should never have had as much pressure put on him as he did. I personally don't think he ever showed signs of being the next MJ or LeBron and he should just be accepted for being a good role player. One player who I am quite excited about though is James Wiseman. He'll start at the centre position every game that he's healthy and he shows lots of signs that will be a great player in 5 or 10 years. For a 7 footer he's extremely quick and agile and has adjusted to the league very nicely. He is a bit skinny at the moment but almost every rookie is when entering the league so this is nothing to worry about. His shot selection seems to be the only issue with me as he sometimes shoots long twos or contested layups. And Steph Curry has never played for a great centre so unfortunately he won't be able to utilise Wiseman to his max. Nevertheless, he'll be solid for the Warriors this season and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him on the all-rookie team. And then with Draymond Green, he should be a solid player once he's back healthy. He's still 30 years old so should be in the prime of his career at the moment, but I'd be surprised if he ever gets back to his old level. When he does play this season, he should be solid on defence and he should be a leader out on the court, especially with the team being quite young. And yes, I'm expecting Joe on screen to bring some good defence to the Warriors, but I don't think he'll ever get back to his defensive player of the year level. 
And so of all that being said, what is my prediction for the Warriors this season? And this time I'm actually going to start off the floor instead of the ceiling just because the Warriors aren't one of the elite teams in the NBA anymore. And I hate to say it, but they could actually miss the playoffs with how strong the Western Conference is looking. Because if you think about it this way, I could see the Lakers, Clippers, Nuggets, Suns, Blazers, Jazz, Rockets and Mavericks taking up the first eight seeds in the West. And so that will put their floor as the ninth seed just missing out on the playoffs. But then I'm obviously going to do their floor for the playoffs if they do get in, but that's obviously going to be going out in the first round. And then for the ceiling, I could also see Steph turning this season around and them going as high as the fifth seed in the West. But then for the playoffs, what can the Warriors do there? And honestly, their ceiling for the playoffs is only the second round, and it's obviously because the Western Conference is so, so tough. And I know my boundaries for where they finish in the playoffs is very, very tight, but I'd be very surprised if they get out of the second round. But for my honest prediction, I think the Warriors will finish 7th or 8th seed, get into the playoffs, and then lose in the first round. And judging by how they've played so far this season and how I think they're going to play, I think that's very, very fair. It obviously is quite sad to see the downfall of the Warriors after they've been so dominant for so many years, but their time was coming and it's now another team's time to step up. And obviously we've already seen the Lakers stepping up and then it could be the Clippers, the Mavericks, the Blazers, who knows. And so that is everything for this video and as always I hope you've really really enjoyed watching. And I haven't actually mentioned it yet but if you wouldn't mind liking that helps me out tremendously and if you're enjoying these videos please consider subscribing. And then as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.